What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to round off about last time, we secured Pennsylvania, the capital of the United States, forcing them back to holding only one region, Cayuga. And they still have some armies on the field, they have these stacks that are heading towards Niagara, which feels like they're going to attack me, but if they do, my force is pretty well pretty well maintained. They lost my lots of my units are at full strength. Got some attrition here and there, but nothing to be, to be too worried about. And we also have uh, this stack in the rear, ready to to move. Well, I'm probably going to move them up to in this direction. Well, in this direction, to uh, if they if they retreat this way, to kind of harry them before they start attacking a Michigan territory. So probably might make them run there automatically. Actually, we'll we'll be quicker that way because we can use the roads. And um, we also have this stack here at Annapolis, who are probably just going to go squash this uh, force at Baltimore just to stop them from being a from being a pain so and hop these guys out of the region get them to replenish and they're short a unit of artillery so let's get that recruitment on the go Ooh, we can get 24 pounders then I'm going to take this rake and send them up here to infiltrate Montreal because Montreal and Quebec are going to be our next targets. Uh, Montreal is owned by Prussia and Prussia's handy to declare war with because they're at war with, with the allied with Russia, Quebec and Afghanistan so if I hit Prussia I can hit Quebec at the same time potentially. Quebec might back out and I'm already at war with I'm already at war with Russia and Afghanistan is Afghanistan is currently um, landlocked so not a worry. I mean, maybe they might be able to get... Well, they're allied with Persia. So, they could run an army up here. Well, then again, they, well, then again, they have no way to recruit ships. Unless Persia transports them or something, I suppose. I don't know. Um, but it does leave me open an interesting option to sail an army through the Baltic and do a bold statement and land at St. Petersburg and just capture it. Blow a hole right in the middle of the Russian Empire. It could be more... I don't know. Or, or, on the way, do I secure Copenhagen? Take Copenhagen, so I secure the bottleneck of the Baltic, and I can cut off the Prussian trade, or some of it, they do own some territories down here, um, and prevent them from harrying my ships, and I can blockade and do lots of stuff like that. I think that might be a plan. I've got an army back here, I've not fully recruited yet, but I don't really need... Well, that's why I said I don't need to recruit it, but I'm earning loads of money, so... May as well, I suppose. Lazos, Hazaros. Got some artillery, howitzers, and then let's just get some fusiliers, and then just fill the rest up with line infantry. And then we'll maybe position this army ready to attack Jamaica, because that will be a target. And Antigua. Actually, this army will probably get ready. We'll be ready to attack Antigua. So, recruit. Let's recruit another unit of artillery. Unit of how is a unit of line. Maybe that many units of line. So I can leave the militia unit here as a uh, as a guard. Yeah, go on, I may as well recruit these. Because these are these uh, because um Caracas will end up being my main recruiting sensor if an army, you know, knee jerk takes a position here. I've got a new navy being recruited down here. Good. The navy recruiting in San Juan. Um, it's not ongoing. Those are my firsts. Actually, I want to get some thirds to make sure I'm not... Oh, thirds and a fourth. Cause I remember talking about how I need to split up my... Uh, f well, I need to make my fleets a bit more variable in terms of speed. Alrighty, yeah. Oh, I think I need probably need to get Eladio Terran involved in this as well. Because you're a good admiral... Well, you're a decent admiral as well, probably because you're a five star. But then again, Eladio is on a four three ship of the line. Yeah, I wouldn't want, don't want to put you in my battle fleets. But yes, I need to do a bit of mopping up. Oh, I recruit some garrison forces here. You need to do a bit of mopping up to um, keep the Americans out of. Uh, we'll stop them from being a pain in the ass. Because they are now in a position to raid all my stuff, but they've still got one territory remaining. This force here at Albany could do with some recruitment. 
but, they, but they're still replenishing. But these guys want to move west and threaten their territory. Research and tech. Mm -hmm. Not really bothered about learning far in advance, but the plus one training level's handy. And because it's got no gentlemen, it's not a big university, then that sort of limits what it can actually do. I can't build one university till I have rights of man, which I've not been doing. Um, 11, 8. 8 turns for rights of man. No, I'll leave Monterey. When Monterey's finished coppering, um, I'll start getting onto that. What's my tech tree actually look like for industry? So, getting puddling furnace, interchangeable parts. Hmm. It's hit and turn. Nothing major. Just a minute. And I'm back. Um, Quebec, uh, Quebec of Lair laid siege to... Oh, where are they going? That could be a... Oh, wait. Okay. Because it made the chung sound that suggested that they were... Uh, oh, America. Yeah, they're going to raid away, which is as, as expected. Oh, the British, are they... Well, they've... they've oh, so they've... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That sure as hell looks like my territory. They've put those troops. Has Britain goddamn declared war on me? If they have, I'm going to hoover up the Caribbean territories like that. Particularly the ones down in South America, because they're very valuable. I mean, war with Britain wasn't wasn't on the table for me. It wasn't something I was going to be bothered about. But, you know, if they've declared on me, uh, then holy hell. But I can't see how they, would, how they would have. Otherwise, I'm sure I would have got a big screen pop up and said like, ooh, they've declared war on you, do you want to call? Ah, oh, the Marathas are coming. Um, no, there's nothing you could give me, the Ottomans. Sorry. I'm feeling in a good place in terms of my money, research, my military strength. It's all feeling good. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. Okay, so let's take. Well, I want to take this army. Hmm. I think I've run them up. Can I get this? Let this get this army to leave Pennsylvania. Oh no, you will mightily hate me, that's fair enough. Let's keep you in. Okay, so they have landed it in Quebec territory. Just okay, that's good. Well I'd like Quebec to put well, I'd, I'd like Quebec to push them back. So let's take you command you in front of these troops maybe peel off you know a couple of couple more solid units of infantry let's group you together because we don't want to just we don't just be them we want to overmatch They're slightly weaken this army, but could put a lot of firepower out. But I might still keep them in New York just in case. Engineer school. Radio. Fleet arrives. Pablo. Massive fleet of brigs. So let's. We're going to bring you over here. No, is it there or is it there? There it is. So bring my fleet out, put my brigs in, good. Agent detected. Ah, let him, it's not a problem. Agent recruited, they've got a rake in Portugal. Well, let's send rakes, start sending rakes up into to further open up the fog of war. Providence has been blockaded, that's fair enough. Burning by a smelly fifth rate. Let's 
seems a bit premature to do that. I'll chase them down with my cavalry troops. Because that's. And keep running. Uh, let's maybe recruit a handful of infantry. Well, then again. In my head, I was thinking, well, what have they got? A couple of units, Hamlet Dobson. To be honest, I don't think I want to go far. But at least secured, at least secured the space enough for me to upgrade this um, iron workshops. Fishing fleet, I think a major fishery. So you should be growing all right now, or at least your food shortages shouldn't be enough to screw with you too much. Let's upgrade the infrastructure once more. Oh, wow. No, you need to replenish. You are... You are running low. So let's do... Hmm. Oficial encubierta! Another navy completed. I'm probably going to want to send them to. I'm sure I'm getting. Where is my trade? I'm sure I'm getting them from. Getting trade from. Straits of Madagascar. So at least. I can't remember. From, oh. <laughs> it's just the one fleet. Just the one ship. Well, this is. This is what happens, because you do this, this, and sometimes the game bugs out and only selects the latter one. Uh, let's have a look. Have I got a fleet in the East Indies? Straight to Madagascar? I do anyway. And there's no one I can capture anyway, so... Here's clean. Apart from the US fleet. Let's go have a look at the coast of Brazil. Let's have a look down there. And I'll put you into this fleet. Come on, Raul. Let's go have a look at the South Americas. Let's start churning out some stacks of Indian and in my Caribbean fleets. Eh. Maybe mix in some galleons as well. Yeah, Niagara's been dis besieged, but we're going to have to sally out because it only lasts one turn. Um, but that means I might will probably get my army in defence in um, as reinforcement. Oh, I don't. Very elite army. But I've got to fight it. Lots of cavalry. Horse artillery, not guards artillery, thankfully. Well, let's fight it. Army. Good in some ways, but bad in others, because it means I will they are just generally will just generally have tree units, which I can outmaneuver. And just put more. If I can damage their units before they get in, they'll. Even though their infantry units are qualitatively better than mine, one for one damage. Well, if you think each, if you imagine each volley is, you know, trading damage, then if I can damage their their units before they get to me with my artillery, then their first volley will never be able to overcome the overmatch. If that makes sense, like they'll never do enough damage. And my guy, even though they're better, they won't do enough. Oh, I'm, I'm screwing up. What I'm trying to say. Just line up. To be honest, I think I'm probably going to want to. Okay, let's experiment with. Okay, let's experiment with the grand battery above my infantry. It does limit my firepower to support my infantry. Let's experiment with it. Keep my yeah, frontiersmen there. Keep you know militia. Well, in the trees with my light infantry. Let's put my grenadiers. Is a bit of a reserve. So I'll probably want one unit there. 
One Union on the left, one Union on the right. Cavalry's positioned okay. Put my General back. My Carabra a Presidencial. Then... Deploy my howitzers. So I presume all my all my artillery is going to go straight for these horse artillery batteries. They have yet to do any damage. So even though I am attacking them, they are still moving up, which is nice. So I think my yeah my horse artillery. Sure. My horse artillery and my experienced artillery should reload faster. Oh good, he's bunched up around them. Oh, just advance a little bit more so my howitzers can start picking at you. Seriously? Oh no, they are actually fire. They are actually just doing their fire in a smart way. Well, semi-smart way. I thought they were focusing on my militia, but they're all firing on different targets. By the looks of it. Good. That's knocked out one gun team. So I want my howitzers to focus fire on their elite infantry. Whoops! Sneezing coming. Sorry, everyone. Um, yeah. So, my artillery should win this fight. I oh, know one of them just can't even. My horse artillery doesn't have the range. So, let's make you start picking at this unit of Continental Marines. No, if they don't, I, gotta, I assume they're not going to move until... They're not going to move until... I don't know, maybe I might have to force them to attack, but that's okay. I'd rather spend some time softening them up. Nope, here come... Oh no, they're just moving up in a general advance. Lovely. Going straight from artillery. The other regiment of horse is getting involved, so it's now time to start doing this. We've got Union of Dragoons. Yeah, it's my 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 howitzers to pick at their elite infantry. Might start. Might be good to start picking some battlefield targets for my troops now. Oh no! Is that unit of artillery routing? Yep. So I'd probably. Well, I may as well focus on this unit. Cause it shouldn't take long to make them route as well. Oh no! They're coming back. So they're going to get picked at by my line infantry. Then they're going to pass within range of my militia, and then my frontiersmen. Okay, 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this preemptively to prepare to wrap around the flank on their elite infantry because we need to uh, maximise firepower in that regard as much as possible and my cavalry are about to be charged by a regiment of horse. Okay, now let's pick battlefield targets. Oh yeah, my colonial light cavalry is smashing the regiment of horse. The, the, oh, the household cavalry, on the other hand. Well, I just want to run away from the household cavalry. Well, I have been charged on the flank. But I just want to run away from the households because they won't be able to catch up with me. Tired, very tired, and winded, so we've got a bit of an advantage there. Grand is being fired upon. Yeah, howitzers are being fired upon because they're getting some of the misses. Right, let's experiment with this. If I set them to fire well, let's see how many of my front rank. If they fire over, or they, how many of my men they kill. So you have managed to outrun the household cavalry, and we've run into a unit of rangers. To be honest though, that artillery is bugged, so we may as well... May as well run. run into the Continentals. Then let's pick some of my artillery. Charge A, you have ran across the entire map, Light Cavalry. Then here come then Light Cavalry in response. Get all military to hit the household cavalry that's charging in a great column. Brave souls. Let's make the line. Let's make the unit they're about to run smack into into square. Make a load of squares and then run my grandees in to fill this gap. Let's get the rest of my artillery to start sniping their general. Get this infantry out of line. No, out of square, sorry. Line up my grenadiers. Move forward, being careful of that unit of household cavalry. I want these guys to attack the rangers. I want my 
my cavalry start doing some start doing some work. Let's bring up my line infantry to knock out that unit. Come the household cav. Fortunately, they have been depleted. This unit of marines are three guys. There you go. Let's commit my general. Get them out of square, get ev throw everyone into the combat. Put guard mode off to want to chase after them. I will lose men for this, but I don't foresee the fight against the US to be a enduring battle. Okay, let's run up here. Who do I want to get? Again, more marines. We can annihilate their whole artillery fire because there's no point because there's just this unit of well. Let's get my 12 pounders to hit them. May as well chase after that horse artillery unit because they're realistically not going to catch up with any of these units. Definitely want to continue. Because it won't be long till the all out anyway. Focus on these guys first because they're the ones that are about to get away. wheeling the gun away <laughs> just be casual boys ah there's one guy back here although for some reason it wants to Instead of him, oh, there's a guy there. Get him! There's two guys there. Yeah, we're going back on the gun. So just knock them off. Oh, there he is. There is still a guy there. Fine. Okay, that was a bit weird. I don't know if there was some of the gun, but it's just how they kept slowly running off in, in groups. Got him. Phew, for a minute there I thought it was going to be a... Uh, I couldn't see them on the map. I could see the gun team. I'm like, well no, that's surely all of them. Because they're running now. Why would they run in dribs and drabs? But yes, Sean Beardsley has been pushed back. And then let's move this guy that's depleted up there just to finish off Sean Beardsley. I didn't want him running around these areas because he could easily catch somewhere. So I'll send them into infiltrate Quebec. 
and you. You're infiltrating. Infiltrating Montreal. Cool. A load of tax about to be finished. Oh, that's all been sorted. Sweet. Let's hit end turn. Not my meat. Priest had gone in. Oh, there's another rake going up there. Let's see, yeah, let's see if the uh, the Quebecs. Oh, they're blockading Nassau. The Americans are regrouping for the final challenge. Yeah, raid. Oh, see, if, I don't know what it is they're doing. Maybe they keep getting blockaded. So that's why they keep going up there to free the blockade. But they've got a whole stack of troops. They can deploy them anywhere. Hmm. So I don't want to kill... I don't want to attack the Austrians. I don't want to attack the Brit Britons. Yeah, but if I, yeah, so if I attack Prussia and to attack Quebec... Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Or do, I just, or do I just completely secure the continent first? There is unused ah. land suitable for farming in this region. Build Preparados. Oh, let's just, just keep just keep replenishing and just sit like here. Al instante. A la espera de órdenes. Cautious. Cautious man. Chop off that unit before they have a chance to uh, get back to the fight. Ooh, see, so attacking the, uh, the... Well, I've got a feeling these are all going to be, yeah, more irregular native mercenary units. And yeah, those would be fine. Let's move this stack in from the east. Stupid Quebec stack. I got, sometimes I got a feeling the AI is deliberately trying to uh, to cause me problems. Let's get one of you in there. We're still going. Cool. Okay, tech advances. Right, let's optimize these a bit better. So on you, the University of the Four researchers on quicklime. On you. Not to bother doing carbines. You may as well crack on at rights of man. Fleet arrives. Does mean there are no. Ooh! Is, is that opened up? I don't think so. Nope. Dern. Go to the South American. On anticipating a trade room may open up. Right, let's get some upgrades on the go. But see now, this is where we're going to start to really harness the uh, the economic value of the U.S. continent. So many resources, so many villages, so many buildings, so much stuff. You're being taxed, you're being taxed. Philadelphia isn't being taxed. Well, I can probably tax you now. So is there... By the looks of it, it doesn't look like there's anyone that's up to no good. Oh, wait a minute. I recognise you. Just bash him up. Too bad we lost four ships, but at least we captured a second rate. Chase them down. Don't let them live to fight another day. Then let's take it, just to uh, make sure it's ours. So then that's opened up another spot of trade. So the East Indies, all of these guys are all because of this ship here. Fourth rate, 24 pounder. And Isaac Pitt. Well, in not very long, they're going to be... Not very long, they're going to be uh, not worth bothering about. 
Well, it would be interesting if they decided to sally out to try attack me. But you'll see. Cool. Um, but looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I will see you next time.